Hi, welcome to another Dev Diary, once again on the topic of build system improvements. The main area of progress to talk about this time is part resizing, but first there are a couple of other things to cover. When dragging a manipulator handle, you can now move smoothly by holding down left shift. And so you can see that there, if I drag this handle, it'll snap, and then if I hold down shift, I can move smoothly like that. And the same goes for the rotation manipulator. If I drag the handle, it'll snap, but then holding down left shift, I can ro rotate smoothly if, if I want to. Also on the rotation manipulator, I've added the ability to tumble rotate, that is rotate around more than one axis at once. By clicking and dragging the central circular area, you can see highlighted there. And you can hold down left shift and, and rotate around uh, different axes like that. Now I'd be curious to get your guys' feedback on this because perhaps it's a little too easy to click and drag this area rather than these handles here um, and rotate in a way you didn't really intend. So I guess give it a try and let me know what you think about that. Next there's something I call the Move Manipulator. And this is a manipulator that's always active regardless of which other manipulator is, is active. So it's this little circle here you can see and regardless of what else is active, it's always there. What, when you have a, a pivot point selected, that is. Now before, to uh, move a part around, you would just click anywhere on the part and, and drag it around. And you can still do that, so I can click here and move it around. But now, once, once a pivot point is selected, you can see there's this circle here that can be highlighted. And you can click and drag that to move the part around. Now this, I'm hoping, sort of makes it a bit more obvious to players that there's something, you know, that you can click and drag, just like there is with the, these other handles here. Um, and it also means that for smaller parts, it's, uh, you know, easier to, to move them around, especially if you get far away like this. Before you'd have to actually click the part, whereas now I can, anywhere on this handle, I can click and move it around. Okay, on to the main topic of this video, part resizing. A while ago a few people suggested it would be more intuitive to have draggable handles for resizing rather than using the key combinations that have been in the game so far. Well, I agree, and finally I've implemented exactly that in the form of a new resizing manipulator. So if we switch to the manipulator by pressing Y, you can see there are now handles that you can drag to resize the part. And whichever handle you drag, the opposite end of the part will stay where it is. So this can be useful if you're aligning stuff together. So if I drag the end of the beam here, you can see the other end stays where it is. And so it will attach when we deselect it. We can have a look at resizing a plate. And this can be resized in two directions at once. So we can drag the corners around like that. And again, you'll see the opposite corner stays where it is. Um, so we can do that while aligning it to the to the beams over there. And you can see it's quite quick and easy to align stuff together like that. We can also use keys to resize. In a similar way to the other manipulators, the translation and rotation manipulator, we can hold down left shift and then use A and D. Uh, we can't use W and S because we can't resize vertically uh, on this part, but we can use Q and E to resize in and out like that. But if I were to rotate the part so it's oriented vertically relative to the player, then we can use W and S to resize like that. So I think this is a, a big improvement over the old uh, resizing controls. But where it particularly comes into its own is with some of the parts that are in the full version of the game that you may not have seen yet, um, unless you've been sort of following the dev blogs and stuff uh, in the past. So, for example, we have a sloped plate here, um, and this is resizable along three directions. The other parts are only resizable along either one or, or two. So, the old resizing method was particularly cumbersome with this with this type of part, whereas now it's a lot easier. So, I can just pretty easily, you know, line stuff up. Um, I can line up the top edge here with the bottom of this with this plate at the bottom here, because I have a you know, uh, a, a sort of uh, outline to show me where it is. And yeah, it's pretty easy to sort of drag stuff around and, and 
I just think it works a lot better for this for this type of part and and all of the parts really. So yeah, I think that's a big step forward for resizing. Um, it does have a few limitations, however. You can only resize uh, a part if it's the only one you have currently selected. So for example, if I have you know just one part selected like that, I can resize it just fine. But if I select multiple parts, I can no longer resize anything. Now, there's possibly ways to work around this, or to make this work, rather. Maybe, uh, you know, you have a sort of handles that sort of go on the outer extents of all parts and then resize them relative to that handle. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the right solution for that is. So currently, yeah, it only works uh, on one part at a time, unfortunately. But uh, anyway, um, the other thing to mention is I have uh, disabled the old resizing controls that were available when you were um, moving a part like this. You could hold down uh, control and resize. So those are now disabled, and I, I'm intending to remove the code for that altogether just because it's a pain to maintain you know, all, all the different <laughs> methods of resizing. But if you really strongly prefer to keep it around, definitely let me know, and I'll consider it for sure. Um, anyway, that's it for another update. As always, I've updated the demo pre-release branch with these changes, so you can try them out and, and let me know what you think. For the next update, after a few further tweaks and refinements to, the, to all this stuff, I'll be rolling all of the build system changes from the past few months into the main demo branch. So now is definitely a good time to give me feedback before I do that. Okay, thanks for watching.